Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. I'm El Hattie and I make videos every week or two on different styles of art or bullet journaling especially. Now today I'm setting up my new journal for the second half of 2021. Uh, this journal is um, from Nick Therapy. It is the Gentle Giant and it's in a B5 size, which is quite unusual for me. I normally go for A5, but I've been really looking to have a bit more space for my drawings, my planning, all those notes. So I thought this would be a really cool opportunity to do that. Now, this is gorgeous. It has that lovely embossed whale on it. So I thought it could be really fun to make my whole setup theme around my whale. But I also wanted to tie it to this one, which is my first bullet journal for this year, where I went for kind of like a star theme with this kind of sketchy font. So I've tried quite hard to kind of combine the two. So let me know if you think that has worked. So I'm getting started with a really simple cover page. All it is is the tail of a diving whale, which I ended up doing in watercolour. With hindsight, I really wish I hadn't used watercolour because it can buckle the paper and I'd never tried using watercolour in this particular notebook before. So it was a little bit nerve wracking to make sure that the paper was okay with it. It turned out fine in the end, I think, but with hindsight, I probably would have done a proper test beforehand but I didn't do that, so here we are. So yeah, I'm just sketching in uh, this whale tail and then adding in uh, a mixture of some of my dark blues, there's a bit of thalo blue in there, some Prussian blue, those kind of colors as well. And just having that as kind of a very simple background. I then add the words 2021 and then July to December underneath. And then I go back in with my jelly rolls in size 10 to add some constellations over the whale. This was much simpler than I have done before when setting up bullet journals, but I wanted this whole theme to be quite minimal, fairly straightforward. So I think I only actually end up using one highlight colour, which is the blue for the entire spread. Moving on to this next layout, this is actually going to be my grid spacing cheat sheet. I normally don't bother with one of these, I find I make them and then don't really ever use them. So I don't think I've put one in my bullet journal for the last year or two actually. But because I'm now in a B5, not an A5 notebook, I thought it might be useful just to have some reference materials for when I'm setting up spreads, just because it's an unfamiliar sized journal. So all I do here is just write out the numbers of the dots down the page and then also across and then just break up the page into half quarters and thirds as well. In the remaining space I just popped in a key. Again I tend to not really need a key for reference because I've been bullet journaling for four years now I think. Oh my goodness that's a, a long time. <laughs> um, but I thought I wasn't sure what else to put in that space and it can look really nice and it's always useful to have a little reminder as well. So I'm just jotting in the different symbols for the different things I want to know like tasks, whether they've been migrated, completed, they're started, uh, events, notes, reminders, things that are urgent to remember, all of those kind of things. My next spread is actually just a quotes page. It's not there for any specific reason other than I thought it would be really fun to include. And I don't actually know where this quote's from. I think it might be from a song lyric. I'm, I'm not sure. So if you do recognize it, do let me know in the comments down below. 
but it is really pretty. I thought it fit just really nicely with kind of my astronomy whale theme, which I mean, I hope it's not as weird as it sounds. I hope it kind of looks slightly cohesive. Um, but I thought it would be really fun to have this whale kind of breaching. You see these incredible uh, videos of humpback whales and they breach the water and then they kind of come crashing back down. And they are just so incredibly majestic and huge and breathtaking. And I really just wanted to have sort of a very simple drawing of that because I thought it would just look so beautiful. So this page is completely superfluous. You do not have to include this at all, but I thought it would just be really fun to have as well. And the quote I'm using is, you're so down to earth and I'm up in the stars, so show me the seas and I'll take you to Mars. And it just, I'm a romantic soul. It made me feel kind of like, oh, we're ready for adventures and all of those kind of things. So that's the quote I am using. I was originally going to use my watercolours again for the whale, but I really wasn't very happy with how that turned out on the first page. So I actually shifted into using my coloured markers. And the only coloured marker I used was this kind of lovely bluey grey. Uh, it's from my Crayola Super Tipped collection, um, which are my go-to in my bullet journal because there's never any bleeding through because the paper's nice and thick. But I will link all of my equipment as usual down below in the description box. Moving on to my future log, I've never really been big on having a year at a glance pages, mostly because I forget to glance at them throughout the year, and they take a really long time to write out all the little calendars. So I've kind of tried to combine the two. So I'll have six boxes for the remaining months of this year, and their little calendars just sort of down the side. And then I've actually got some space for the first little section, the first three months of 2022. And it is just crazy to me that I am already thinking about next year, this 2022 coming up. I can't believe that we're halfway through this year already. So it blows my mind slightly that that's coming up and it will come faster than I think. <laughs> um, but for my design, I'm just putting a nice little doodle on the left hand side. I've got a whale here. It's kind of flying through the sky. I don't know. I thought it looked quite fun. And again, I'm going in with my nice blue gray. I actually did make a bit of a gaff and used a gray pencil, uh, a gray pen, sorry, originally, and then realized I'd picked up the wrong color. So I have tried to hide that a little bit. So kudos if you spotted that little mistake. I think that's one of the wonderful things about bullet journaling though, is even if you do make mistakes, you can either fix them or kind of incorporate them into your designs. And because it's a no stress place to be drawing or recording things, it doesn't really matter.
This next spread is my reading list. Uh, I will probably transfer the names of the books that I have already read this year into this journal as well, just so I can keep track of it a little bit better. Um, I find that I always have so much on my plate that reading tends to be the first thing that I give up on, which is not okay. I really want to read more and I always have a massive stack of books that I are meaning to get through. I think I have probably 11 or 12 books on my dresser right now that are all started and I have not got through any of them completely. So I don't know if you guys do this, I, I start books and I never finish them and they sit there and they sit there and they sit there and I start more and more books every time and it's it's a terrible habit I've got. So let me know, do you guys do that as well or do you are you really good? Do you read a book to completion every single time? Let me know down below. So yeah, I've just added a little doodle of a whale again. Um, this actually reminded me quite a lot of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy which is really sad. I know that's really sad. So let me know if you've got that reference as well. <laughs> Sorry if that's like a bit of a down, <laughs> that thought. Then on the other page, all I'm doing here is transferring over my goals for this year. I had a little space in my old notebook, but some of these goals were ongoing, things that I kind of wanted to retrieve by the end of the year. So all I'm gonna do is just transfer them over. I tend to split my goals up into different subsections because I tend to find that if I have a big goal, I find it very overwhelming and I don't actually ever even try and attempt to complete it. So I have to kind of break them down into slightly smaller steps. So I have uh, creative goals, I have personal goals and I have financial goals as well. And I've kind of broken those down into like mini subsets uh, where I can kind of tackle them without feeling quite so overwhelmed. So that's this spread here. Alright, this is my final spread for this journal setup. This is all about my YouTube channel, my stats, my Instagram, those kind of things. I like to sort of know where I am at all times, so it's been really useful to have a place where I can record things. So here I'm just filling out the next six months worth of boxes, July through to December, and I have a little tracker there for YouTube and Instagram. Uh, so if you want to go and check out my Instagram, I will link uh, my handle down below. Go check that out. It's, it's actually not as bad as it sounds, I promise. Um, and then underneath, I'm actually going to split up into three boxes. So I have a box for affiliates. So I have an affiliate link, but I never remember um, what my passcode is, all of those kind of things. Um, so I'm going to add that down in that little box underneath. And then I'm also going to have a wants and needs box as well. And that's just a place where I can jot down the things that I might need for uh, a video, or etc. And the things that I just want because I always want more, more crafting materials, more pens, more markers, more paint, all of that, all of that lovely stuff that I shouldn't really be buying all the time. <laughs> then on the right hand page, I'm just setting up a bit of a brain dump space where I can jot down any video ideas I might have. I have tried doing this sort of month on month in each of my individual setups, but I find I don't really use it and I think it would be more useful to have one space where I can reliably go and check back through my ideas.
And here we have it, my final flip through. I can't believe we're halfway through this year already. That just seems so crazy to me that this year has gone so fast. But thank you to you amazing guys for watching my videos. You honestly mean the world to me. So please do leave a like. If you like these kind of videos, think about subscribing maybe. You guys are absolutely fantastic. I hope you have a really wonderful rest of your day. Take care, guys. Bye.